Welcome back guys and today we are going to take a look at a Dell XPS 7590. This guy is sporting a i7 9th gen with a NVIDIA 1650 GTX, 32 gigs of RAM and a one terabyte NVMe. Now in this video I'm going to take this apart to show how to replace a battery in it as this one here of course is what I would call my donor. I'm going to take this apart and show you how to change your RAM, your NVMe if you want to, and the battery. So actually I'm going to flip this over like this and without further ado I'm going to get started on this. Okay, so for this, you're going to need, uh, I, I'm going to call it a hex. It's a very small one. Okay, for the bit, it's a T5, and it had an H on it. I don't know if that's something to do with this tool, or that is actually a size. I'm, I'm not well aware of that. But anyway, we need to take these screws here out. Ooh. And there is actually one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10 screws, okay? Well, that one's in there good. Oh. Kind of reminded me of taking apart a MacBook Pro or something now, because they use the same uh, type of screws, all aluminum. It's gonna be nice to see inside one of these. So all the screws are the same size, so you don't have to worry about uh, where what goes. They're all the same. That is actually nice for once. Always good to have a pry tool. And as you can see, I use metal ones. They're not expensive, but they last. Whereas the plastic ones, I get two or three jobs out of them if I'm lucky. Sometimes one and they're already no good. So, okay. I was wondering why I was having trouble, but there's actually two screws in here. Hopefully the same size, but if they're not, well, it's only two you gotta watch out for. And of course the two screws here are actually Phillips. So I'll take the bit out. I think that's kind of ridiculous how everything else is one thing and then all of a sudden you need to use a different tool. Oh, and in case you're wondering, this is where your service tag, your serial number, everything, it's just like a magnetic thing. You just put your thumb in and lift it up and there's your screws, pretty simple. Now let's see if that solves my can't get the door off problem. All right, so I did get all this side. There we go. All right. So there we have it. Uh, that is cooling right here, so don't lose that. It looks like there's another thermal pad here for the NBME. Now, as we can see, this is actually a pretty simple layout for as far as changing the Wi-Fi, or your memory, just a quick click and off it comes. And then you got a 16 gig kit, well, two, uh, 32 gig kit, 16 by 16 in this one. No need to upgrade it. Your NVMe is right here. So literally you would just take out this screw right here and remove the NVMe. Therefore, you will be able to easily upgrade or access any of it. In this case, I need to take this battery and change it. This is already a one terabyte, so it's already, in my opinion, good enough for a laptop. Look how dirty it is inside. So, removing the battery. Now, right off the bat, we have to look and make sure that we know which one is a battery terminal here to unplug, and it's right here. Right off the bat, you would think that these ones here are the ones I did. They're actually the small ones that are in here. So there's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven screws for this. These should all be the same as well. So you have your, <laughs> your black ones right over here. Keep them in the light. I almost didn't see when I laid it over on the other side there. Always good to have some sort of mechanical uh, screwdriver. 
or mechanical, uh, magnetic. Really helps with the screws. But uh, this is all coming out pretty easy. And I figured I'd do this video as this battery needs to be replaced. Um, it's just uh, this way I can show you how you take it out. A lot of people are going to question their older, well, not so, so old, but their 9th Gen i7 Dell XPS laptop they game on. Um, and a lot of people are having battery issues now. So that's, you know, one of the things where we, we want to show people how to get that done so that you can change your own battery and not pay somebody to do it. And as you can see so far, this is pretty pain, painless. It's, it's not very hard. Now also while you have it open, see this, that all needs to be cleaned out. So that is uh, hair, grime, whatever that, you know, that has come over time. People may be putting it on their bed when they shouldn't be gaming. But I mean, look, I, I, I just pulled out a little piece and that's what we have. So that's kind of gross. Number one reason why dedicated video cards in these laptops die. They can't breathe. All right, let's see if that did it. Okay, that did it. So now this right here, of course, is the power plug. We want to remove it. And there you have it. It looks like there's three cells, four, four, six, six cells in here. But anyway, this is the battery. This is how it comes out. And then of course, just putting a new one back in is as simple as putting the screws back, plug that in first, drop it in and put your screws in. So guys, I just want to do a quick tutorial of this here for you guys. I'm going to clean all this up before I put it all back together because it's kind of gross. And it just, you know, a simple, easy way to show you what you can do easily on your own just by removing that one plate. And again, make sure the two screws in the center, which I believe are these two right here, are out as that was the same problem I had, wondering why it wouldn't let go. Anyway, guys, if you have any questions about this unit, please let me know. Comment below because I can answer pretty much anything from it. I have these uh, units here right now and uh, anything that someone wants me to, to go over, I can easily do so. So until next time, guys, thank you for paying attention, watching, and I hope this helps somebody somewhere get something done that they didn't think they could do. Game over, guys.